I saw Altair being scheduled to release, but I couldn't find any resources on when it will actually be. It's supposed to be a kind of spiritual sequel to the Swords of Gargantua that was recently discontinued for the sake of this game, honestly. While playing Swords, I knew it's kinda big in the East because of the similarities to Sao or just stuff like that. Makes sense why the devs made it more anime-like this time around. For some reason, I see the borders. I think it's automatic vignette. Reach out to the tablet before you and grab it. Let's start by configuring some core settings. Please enter your height. Well. Oh my god. The tablet's mechanics in VR is just a no. Will it change it? Now create the avatar you will be using. No, I still have it. It's so weird. I'm curious how the footage will look like. It's just a FUV problem. My name is Stella. I am in charge of supporting you throughout your training. It's a pleasure to meet you. The VR training program will now start. Listen carefully to my instructions. If you're stuck, tap the glowing button on your left hand to open the menu. Here you can retry or end training, or check the training program details. We will first learn how to move. Use your left thumbstick and move to where the marker is. You can change the direction you are facing with the right thumbstick. Jesus. <laughs> Look around for a marker and move to it. Can I like switch the locomotion now? Maybe later. Great work. Let's move on with our training, shall we? I will now teach you practice makes perfect. This is a power... Now, let's press the grip button while you are close to a wall to hold onto it. Raise your hands alternately while holding onto the wall to climb it. Well done. This concludes your training. Let's get familiar with the glider now. Raise both arms and press both trigger buttons to deploy the glider. Let's try and get down with the glider, shall we? Trigger buttons this time around, not like in Zenith. <laughs> what? You can skip, you can skip, retry, or end VR training with us almost there. You may need to practice. I will now show you how to open treasure chests. Pass your hand over the treasure chest to open it. Try the one in front of you. I didn't do the gliding, so... Why did it let me pass? Well done. Chests contain mana and coins. They will be collected autumn. Keep it up! To use the item in your hand, hold the trigger button. Great work. Let's move on with our training, shall we? Next, how to move around using gates. By entering the gates on the map, you will be able to warp elsewhere. Nothing's going on. Well done. This concludes your training. But I want to know how to glide. Oh, like I hold it in air, not on the sides. the glowing button on your left hand to view training details. It's inconsistent, but... Yeah, just inconsistent. <laughs> I will now teach you to attack. Press the grip button with your dominant hand to summon your equipped weapon. Swing your controller while holding the grip button to attack with your weapon. Okay. Good work. Well done. This concludes your training. By landing consecutive hits, you will deal more damage. Plus, you may also recover your stamina meter. It's very useful against tough enemies, and will also influence your grading. Great work. Well done. This concludes your training. Let's proceed to charge attacks. Try it with your current weapon. Remember to keep it held up high. Charge complete. Try it, you are no longer charging. 
Swing your weapon upward again. Great work. Well done. This confirms your training. Now for rising aerial attacks. Hit an enemy with an upward swing to launch them into the air. Keep looking at the enemy to jump up and attack them mid-air. Striking the enemy down will leave it defenseless and open to further attacks. Oh. Use a charge attack oh. here to deal even more damage. Wow. Well done. This completes your training. Now for the shockwave attack. Attacking while holding the trigger button will send a shockwave straight ahead. It's effective against distant enemies, but drains your stamina meter. Okay, just because it's going fast. Music gives me old school PS1 games. Combat launching in the air, that's the first time Let's I see this. Against a real enemy. Press the group and trigger buttons. Oh shit, wait. <laughs> You can skip, retry, or end VR training with the button on your left hand. Where is it disappearing? What? I don't know. It's not even going in the... Touch the glowing button on your left hand to view training details. Like, you know, the direction. It's going down. Well done. This concludes your training. Definitely won't use that. Now let's talk defense. Press the grip button in your non-dominant hand to summon your equipped shield. You will receive less damage while your shield is up. You can also parry attacks with your weapon or shield if you time it right. Parry enemy attacks with your sword or shield to recover your stamina meter. Oh? That's nice. Whoa. Let's practice against a real enemy. Great work. Well done. This confirms your training. A shield can do more than stop attacks. Position it at the front and hold the trigger button to activate your barrier. Your stamina meter and the barrier active will drain it. Great work. Well done. This concludes your training. Now let's talk about surge mode. Hold up your weapon to activate surge mode and unleash its hidden power. Reach out with your dominant hand and hold your weapon horizontally. Hold your free hand over the marker on your weapon. Let's practice against the real enemy. During surge mode, you can deal great damage to enemies within a wide area. However, it will exhaust your stamina meter and temporarily halt its recovery. I see. Now go ahead and clear the field of enemies. Skip, retry, or end VR trick almost there. You may need to practice more before facing real enemies. You can retry VR training with the button on your left hand. Well done. This concludes your training. You can revive fallen party members so that they may return to battle. It's kind of awkward. Like, some things connect, some not. This upwards attack, I need to still like practice, maybe like that. The range ones, I don't like it. The surge one is very cool. It's like an ultimate. Everything so far is giving me Final Fantasy 
You can skip, Eleven. retry, or end VR training with the button on your left hand. Like with the arrows coming at me, that I'm the target, the music, something's going on. <laughs> to do so, approach them and hold your hand or click left. Well done. This completes your training. Congratulations, your level has increased. When you defeat all enemies on a floor, you'll see your combat results. Collect enough EXP and your level and max HP will increase. Oh. Mana and coins you collect can be used to purchase and customize items. That concludes your VR training. You performed very well. <laughs> you'll soon connect to Altair, a virtual world that exists to help AI grow. Let our singularity begin to transcend the limits of human and AI. Now, on how to activate a terminal. To access a terminal, simply lay your hand on it. Try using the one near you. Hmm? Oh, wow. What are those chests? Like, inventory? Item box feature unlocked. Safely store any items you found. Yeah, also, I discovered there are subtitles. We can access Vesta's Isle now. Once you're ready, we can begin our search. Adventure difficulty scales with other players. Swords had like a full on campaign and then multiplayer mode. This seems to be purely multiplayer? But I wonder what's gonna be like the progression of it all. Good luck on your search. Please stay alert while you get a feel for things. Okay, it just starts. I'll, I'll let you have it. And even the crystal, like... The gate has appeared. You can now move to the next floor, or walk to camp. <laughs> Keep your guard up. The walls grow stronger this time. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm gonna go alone and just see. Enemy sighted. Engage at will. Oh, he died. Huh? Oh, I have potions and stuff. But what's like the goal? Destroy everyone in the area? Enemy sighted. Neutralize them all. Oof. What about with the pixels in the distance? Possessing a gate essence has appeared. Take it down. I can't land them in air. <laughs> oh. You have gathered enough gate essences. Boss floor access unlocked. This is the final enemy in this area. Take it down. A gate has appeared. Please proceed to the next area. Oh. I want to play alone. I don't know what's going on, just... It's chaos. So, this is the camp. Inventory, additional for assets. There, you switch weapons. I'm gonna go like that, because it's more comely to do the air overview. Enemy sighted. Engage at will. Let's see. Excited. Engage at will. Can I like run? I don't know. Hello. How do I launch them? What? Enemy sighted. Engage at will. They are also dashing somehow. That was not explained in the tutorial.
literally no idea. Enemy in this area. Take it down. Ah, I won't bother. What the? A gate has appeared. Please proceed to the next area. Uh, so far, it's very average. I don't know if it's because I'm playing on Quest or whatever. Like, it's crunchy in a way that... It's just crunchy. <laughs> like, I don't know. Time will pass as you advance through each floor. Be careful as enemies grow stronger at night. Why? <laughs> Neutralize them all. Because I don't know how to run, or just like that, the gameplay is pretty slow. Do I do the same as in the swords? No. <laughs> okay. Well, that worked somehow. Gate essence detected on a nearby enemy. It's not doing anything. This is the final enemy in this area. Take it down. Oh my god, it's kind of frustrating. The gate has appeared. Please proceed to the next area. Ugh. Enemy sighted. Neutralize them all. I was just slashing, okay. Enemy sighted. Engage at will. I don't know how I launch them. It's so random. Enemy sighted. Neutralize them all. Happened. Gate essence detected on a nearby enemy. This is the final enemy in this area. Take it down. <laughs> oh, my God. What's going on? <laughs> to the next area holy shit the amount of unpolishedness is like crazy if you feel an enemy is too strong you can retreat with the menu button well so far things are too easy just one shotting like enemy sighted engage at will Enemy sighted. Neutralize them all. This is the final enemy in this area. 
Take it down. A gate has appeared. Please proceed to the next area. Alright, it's a little bit better. Enemy sighted. Engage at will. It's hard to tell what's the end goal. Like, I don't feel I'm progressing. I'm just repeating the same stages. <laughs> kind of. What the hell? Enemy sighted. Engage at will. Ah, uh, on top. Five minutes later. I don't know, like, it's not explained at all. I almost feel like it's not them dodging, it's just frame skipping. <laughs> Also, I can't do fast movements, it's just slow. And then it connects, like... Just if you do that, nothing works. This enemy is an evolved phenotype. It seems to be carrying a gate essence. It's either by chance or I don't know. Enemy in this area. Take it down. A gate has appeared. Please proceed to the next area. Also not really losing HP. Ugh, like... I wanna like it. <laughs> but so far I don't see the magic of swords that I remember. It's just... Crunch, crunch, crunch. We have cool things like gliding. Well, it didn't work this time. <laughs> New combat mechanics. I've never saw this airborne stuff happening. Wanted also to summon menu to show inventory, but apparently it stayed upstairs and it's not coming back to me. I think it's just early version or something. It doesn't feel like a full release. It's cool, but not cool enough that I want to play more. Things are just missing and I don't know. We'll see in the future. It's just... Crunchy!